Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a science fiction film called Big Snake. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Sometime in the years of the Second World War, an army of Japanese soldiers have escaped onto an isolated island. Suddenly, the captain tells all his people to stop after hearing very strange noises inside the nearby forest. The leader commands two of his men to investigate the commotion, while the scouts carefully tread into the mysterious jungle, not realizing the terrible danger that they're in. Very soon, the people begin hearing terrible screams as a single soldier runs out while being chased by a massive creature. The animal tosses the man into the air and swallows the soldier right in front of everyone. This causes the people to watch in disbelief as they see a gigantic serpent that's preparing to consume all the humans. Many years later, a scientist known as Lin is giving a presentation about the findings of the giant snake, but surprisingly, his audience is nothing more than elementary students. The man even wrote a book about the findings for the children, but all the adults are baffled by Lin's ridiculous claims. Things become even worse when the man takes out the live animals and revealing his very controversial teaching methods while making all the children cry. This causes him to get thrown out right away and immediately fire from his job once again. Lin goes home disappointed and without any money in his pockets but still has to act very cheerful in front of his daughter who's already got cancer in her young age. Suddenly, Lin hears a knocking from the outside and opens the door as he sees two strangers in front of him who are obviously from very wealthy backgrounds. The taller man introduces himself as Mr. Ten, and he's here after discovering the children's book that the main character wrote, which mentioned the fruit of immortality. It turns out that Ten is the owner of a massive company, and they have been researching about this item for a long time. They believe that the mysterious fruit has a chemical component that's capable of curing cancer and even allowing humans to live on forever. The people People were able to find the location of this item after discovering a soldier who was stranded on the island since the Second World War who is now at least over a hundred years old. Tan wants the scientists to guide them into this mysterious place while promising to give him a lot of money and offering the best medical care for his daughter. The man has no choice but to accept this deal and they begin heading towards the location of the island while being guarded by countless mercenaries on the boat. Lin eventually goes into to the main cabin and meets the captain of the soldiers, who's obviously not very happy with the man's presence. The main character also finds out that Mr. Ten is apparently suffering from cancer as well, and his only hope of not dying is to somehow locate this legendary fruit. Lin is then introduced to their medical expert Lily, who's the only doctor they have on board, but the woman begins treating the man like he owes her alimony. It turns out that they actually knew each other from a long time ago as they used to be together, but quickly broke up due to their massive differences in scientific opinion. Very soon, the boat operator begins noticing a thick fog in front of their path, and Lin quickly realizes that something is wrong, as it shouldn't happen in this current season. However, their geography expert CK thinks that this is completely normal, as the area's gravity is much lower compared to anywhere else. Very soon, the vessel begins to enter this unnatural fog, and vastly reducing the people's visibility as a result. A soldier becomes startled by the lack of sight and accidentally cuts himself on the hand which causes blood to drop onto the floor. The man quickly begins hearing a strange noise and sees a giant piranha flying towards him while trying to bite off his face. The soldier is eventually able to throw the creature away as it continues bouncing on the floor while all the people gather to see the vicious animal. The doctor rushes out immediately to treat the wounded man but the people quickly realize realize that trouble is only starting as countless piranhas begin rushing their way. Lin yells for everyone to run as the creatures quickly devour the humans like a buffet and forcing all the soldiers to fire aimlessly towards the air. However, the people's gunshots are not very effective as the animal's numbers are way too high which causes tremendous casualties as a result. The lieutenant tries fending off the creatures by using her blade but she's also forced to quickly retreat as the animal's 
fly in like a bullet storm. The woman has no choice but to hide inside the container, as the flying piranhas continue destroying the soldiers by feeding upon their flesh. Lin yells for everyone to hide inside the cabin, but sees countless creatures rushing towards Lily, which causes him to push away the woman and saving her life in the process. Seeing that the creatures are quickly coming back, Lin takes off the girl's jacket and dips the clothing in the blood. He tosses the item into the air, causing all the animals to chase after the scent and tearing all the fabrics into pieces while giving them the chance to escape. At the same time, the operator begins pushing the boat to its maximum speed as all the flying creatures begin to vanish and the vessel is eventually able to exit the fog. When the entire battle is over and the people are finally able to come outside, they quickly realize that a large portion of their manpower has been destroyed by the piranhas. What's even worse, the boat operator tells them that the engine is completely fried, giving the people no other choice but to continue their journey on foot. Very soon, the team is able to make it on land, while the soldiers are trying to bury all their friends who died. Lin goes towards the water and is able to confirm the biosignature of the fruit, which appears to be coming from the center of the island. CK is also able to calculate the closest way towards the objective, which requires cutting across the forest. However, Lin objects the plan immediately, as there might be even more dangerous creatures inside, but this only causes the captain to accuse the main character as being a coward. All the people choose to ignore the man's advice as they start heading deeper into the unknown, which forces Lin to follow them as well. Meanwhile, the people on the boat begins to try and fix the engine, but one of the men quickly realizes that something strange is inside the water. He continues staring at the surface of the lake, only to see a giant snake jumping towards him. The other worker is startled by the noise, and wonders where the commotion is coming from. He tries to go look for his friend, but only finds the radio lying on the floor, which makes him realize that he's in serious trouble. The man slowly turns around, only to see a massive creature towering above him, which ends up killing him in a single bite. On the other side, the people continue traveling across the forest, but see CK is able to find a giant fruit which quickly awakens the man's appetite. Luckily, the big boy is stopped by the main character who explains that the item is actually a powerful explosive. He demonstrates this by taking down the object and quickly throwing it away, causing the fruit to immediately combust and eventually blow up like a bomb. The man suggests that they leave this area immediately before they're all killed by mother nature herself. The people continue crossing the island as they cut through a small mountain which eventually allows them to arrive towards an area that's filled by fog. The captain orders everyone to take a rest, while the people try to figure out how to proceed further, and Lily begins feeling that something is approaching her from behind. It's quickly revealed that it was only a small snake, but the animal was enough to turn Lily into a damsel in distress. A soldier goes towards the tiny creature and grabs onto its head, before laughing at the girl for being such a coward. The man and tries to show off by killing the animal in front of everyone, but the people soon notice something terrifying behind the soldier, which causes them to begin grabbing for their guns. The man turns around and finally realizes the danger that he's in, as a giant serpent slowly crawls towards the people from the rocks. The massive animal approaches the soldier and stares at the man in fury, while causing his bladder to malfunction at the same time. The captain tells the others to get ready to fire, as the monster roars furiously and devours the man in a single bite. The soldiers begin shooting immediately with all their guns, which causes the creature to scream in pain and forcing the giant serpent to retreat behind the rocks. However, the battle is not over yet, as a body falls down from the sky and prompting everyone to shoot towards the air in fear. The creature takes the chance and begins killing the soldiers in the chaos by picking them off one by one, and eventually causing the people to scatter everywhere as a result. Out. Very soon, the captain hears a loud scream and sees the big boy running desperately away from the giant monster while using up 
all his cardio in the process. The animal eventually manages to grab onto the man, but the lieutenant rushes in just in time and stabs the monster right on the head. This causes the creature to let go immediately as it knocks the woman away like a flying ragdoll. The snake charges towards the girl in fury, but she's quickly rescued by Lin, who's able to jam the creature's mouth by using a stick. The soldiers begin shooting at the serpent right away, causing it to shake violently and eventually retreating away from the area. The people take the chance and quickly regroups as they get ready to continue the battle, but the monster seems to have left the area for good. However, Lin realizes that the fight is not over yet as Lily is still missing from their team. It turns out that the girl is trying to hide behind the rocks, but quickly realizes that the giant snake is coming for her life. The monster slowly approaches the girl to finish the kill, but the attack is interrupted by Lin, who manages to save the woman once again. The creature tries launching a second time, but the captain rushes into the area and throws a grenade right into the monster's mouth. This causes a huge explosion that blows the animal into pieces and leaving nothing behind but the remains of the serpent's head. The people eventually all gather behind the rocks as they finally found the reason behind the creature's attack. It turns out that they accidentally ran into the monster's nest and the giant serpent was only trying to protect the eggs from all the humans. The soldiers hear this and begins firing at the eggs immediately as they try to take vengeance for all their friends that were killed. The people eventually leave the area after destroying the entire nest, not realizing that they attracted an even bigger enemy towards their location. The humans continue moving towards the objective, but only a fraction of their people are still alive, meaning that their chances for success is becoming lower by the second. Suddenly, the captain notices movements in front of them and orders everyone to stop immediately as all the soldiers get ready to fire. The people wait nervously for the incoming threat, but quickly finds out that it's only the boat operator and the camera girl. The old man tells everyone that all his workers were killed by a giant snake, but Mr. Ten assures him that they already destroyed the monster. However, the operator thinks that there must be countless other creatures in the area as he saw numerous skeletons of the giant beasts. Ten disregards this information completely and assures the people that no one is getting paid unless they can retrieve the fruit of immortality. The people all begin moving forwards as the old man begs them to stop, but even the main character has decided that it's best to finish the mission as he needs the money for his daughter. The team continues heading deeper into the forest, but it's quickly revealed that they're being surrounded by mysterious tentacles from all directions. Suddenly, the soldiers are dragged away one after the other as countless vines are rushing towards them very quickly. Lin sees this and tells everyone to run immediately, while the numerous tentacles are chasing the people closely behind. The humans try desperately to escape from the area, but the vines continue capturing the people and dragging them off, eventually feeding them into the flesh-eating plants. The camera girl is quickly grabbed onto by the creatures as well, causing the old man to chase immediately after the woman to save her from the monsters. He manages to grab onto the plants just in time as he eventually cuts off the vine and freeing the girl, but only causes himself to be captured in the process. This causes the man to fall into the monster's mouth, while the camera girl tries continuously to pull him out. However, the woman's efforts are wasted, as the man is already mortally wounded, which causes him to die right in front of her. On the other side, Lin is captured by the creature as well, causing him to grab onto the big boy while taking away the man's dignity at the same time. The main character tries desperately to hold on, but is quickly pulled away by the monster, which causes the man to scream continuously for help. Just before Lin is consumed by the creature, the lieutenant rushes in and jumps into the air while stabbing the monster right in the head and saving the man at the same time. Before the people can relax, Lin hears the scream of his ex-girlfriend and jumps onto the vines immediately to rescue her by pulling the woman back. This allows the lieutenant to cut off the creature's tentacle, which gives the people a chance to escape from the area. When everyone finally regroups away from the monsters, the morale of the entire team has reached an all-time low, but Mr. Tan continues trying to force the people to move forwards. Lily thinks that the man has gone insane, but Lin rushes in to stop the conflict as he demands that they must follow his advice from now on if they want to complete the mission alive. Ten hears this and 
Captain has no choice but to pull back his weapon, while the Captain tells the main character to lead the way this time. The people continue moving towards the objective, and they eventually run into a forest that's filled by exploding fruits that they found earlier. Lin looks down towards the ground, and is surprised to find what appears to be the leftover skin of a snake that's many times larger than the one that they killed. This makes the man realize that they have to change their routes immediately, as the giant creature is probably close by. The humans eventually makes it below a mountain as their detection device begins to sound off, and CK realizes that they must be getting very close towards the fruit of immortality. The man suggests that the item must be right behind this mountain, which gives the people a glimmer of hope as they're so close to completing the mission. The team quickly venture across the hills and eventually arrive below the rocks, and Mr. Ten is finally able to witness the legendary fruit that he's been searching for his whole life. He yells for the soldiers to pick the object immediately, while the man goes towards the mountain and begins climbing the tree to reach the item. Before the soldier can finally grab onto the fruit, the people quickly realize that something is wrong as a gigantic serpent swallows the man right away. The creature quickly towers over all the humans as the people are stunned by the sheer size of the monster. The serpent stares at the humans in anger as it prepares to launch in towards the group, which causes the mercenaries to fire towards the monster's face by using their guns. However, the attacks only manage to anger the serpent even more as it launches towards the humans and swallows the soldiers in a single bite. The people goes to hide immediately as the monster quickly recovers and turns the attention towards the other mercenary while throwing the man in the air and devouring him as well. The lieutenant sees this and begins shooting the monster by using her pistol, but the attacks are not effective at all, causing the creature to knock her away using tremendous force. The captain realizes that he's now alone and is forced to take on the serpent by himself. Mr. Ten takes the chance and points a gun towards Lin as he tries forcing the man to go pick the fruit while the monster is clearly busy fighting the soldier. The main character has no choice but to comply as the businessman begins threatening to kill the others as well. Lin is forced to climb the trees as quickly as possible while the captain continues fighting the giant monster by stabbing its body and dodging the creature's vicious attacks. The man eventually charges towards the giant snake as he slides below the animal and tries to cut the creature's belly, but only ends up being knocked away in the process. At the same time, Lin has finally reached the item as he tries desperately to grab the fruit, but only ends up falling down the cliff as a result. However, it's quickly revealed that the man actually managed to grab the item before the fall, as he runs towards the businessman and hands over over the fruit to ensure the other's safety. What they don't realize is that the captain has already been defeated by the monster, who's waiting to make the finishing kill. The soldier grabs onto his grenade and screams furiously before being completely devoured by the creature and exploding inside the monster's mouth. This causes the animal tremendous pain, which gives the people a chance to escape the area, but the monster is able to recover quickly and begins chasing the humans immediately. The people try desperately to run away from the area while Mr. Ten pushes the butler backwards and planning to sacrifice the man for his own life. The creature is able to catch up to the humans very quickly, which causes the monster to bite onto the old man and swallowing him in the process. Lin tries to use the chance and tells all his friends to run, while the animal begins chasing after the people once again. The team is able to escape the mountains and eventually make it out from the forest, while Mr. Ten is slowly falling behind from his illness. The man desperately calls out for the doctor's help, which causes the woman to go back as a result. When Tan sees that the monster is getting closer, he pushes the woman onto the ground and shoots her right on the leg, so that the animal will go after Lily instead. The businessman tries to run away, but gets punched in the face by Lin, which knocks him towards the ground as the main character runs to help the woman. However, Lin quickly realizes that the monster is right behind them, and giving them no chance to escape anymore. Surprisingly, the giant serpent turns the attention towards the businessman who's holding onto the fruit instead. The creature launches towards the human as it quickly surrounds the man by using its massive body and trying to strangle the person in the process. Everyone watches in shock as the businessman is slowly squeezed to his death, which forces him to drop the fruit of immortality as well. The giant serpent devours the victim immediately, while Lin brings the woman back to 
the others before going towards the monster all by himself. The man realizes that the creature is busy eating its prey, which allows him to take the chance and slowly retrieve the fruit without alerting the animal in the process. Lin goes back towards the people and quickly hands over the item alongside the drawing of his daughter. He tells everyone that he's going to lure the monster away, or else they're all going to die on this island. Lin starts running towards the creature as all the people look at the main character one last time, and the man begins shouting at the serpent to get the animal's attention. The giant creature notices the man and quickly chases after him, which allows Lin to bring the monster into the forest once again. The main character is eventually able to arrive at the location that's filled by exploding fruits, and quickly sees that the monster is rushing his way. Lin takes the chance and grabs onto a fruit immediately, before throwing the item directly at the animal, but surprisingly, the object did not blow up like he planned. The man quickly becomes hopeless as he sees the monster charging his way, but suddenly, the man notices that the lieutenant is rushing out towards him. The woman grabs onto the item and throws it towards the other fruits, which causes a chain of explosions that bombards the creature continuously as it screams in pain. The area is quickly covered by the bombs, as the woman looks back at the main character one last time, before completely disappearing inside the explosions. The man is knocked away by the massive shockwave as the serpent is completely destroyed by the bombs, while the people are crying in sadness for the sacrifice of their friend. However, the survivors quickly finds out that Lin has somehow survived the explosions in the end, allowing them to finally be together once again. The people use the boat which is now repaired and finally begins heading home, while Lin is able to bring back the fruit of immortality for his daughter and for the rest of mankind. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.